I, I would like to emphasize that the gravity of the situation revealed in these documents is quite astonishing. You know, we're we're used to reading these documents. We have documents from 60 or 70 dioceses. This is, in some ways, from the point of view of of uh, pre preventing justice from being done in these cases. These documents are possibly the worst I've ever seen. I would estimate that the total universe of abuse-related documents in the Los Angeles Archdiocese is something in excess of three quarters of a million pages. Curry's involvement is broad and it's also deep. It's both a matter of keeping the priests away from prosecution, keeping the priests and the authorities separated. It's also keeping any therapy the priests might do out of the picture as far as the authorities are concerned. And for five years, it was Curry who managed them and dealt with them. Curry absolutely was on the front line. Curry was absolutely the person with whom Mahoney was working for five very significant years of his episcopate. It, it's um, mind-boggling to me that uh, ostensibly good men, ostensibly doing the work of the church, would take these decisions, and not simply a single decision, but methodically make these decisions over many years. And I think we have to face that, that although he might have a nice brogue, and he might say a nice mass, and he might do uh, some good things, the fact is that keeping sex offenders away from the cops and setting up a situation where those offenders can harm more children is a horrible act.